Let's talk about Master Grade Wing Gundam Zero EW version Katoki. The uh, new mobile suit model kit that has been announced um, yesterday. As part of the five day celebration of Bandai and talking about all these new kits coming out, we've been teased last week of a new Katoki kit. And many people have been throwing ideas and thoughts of what it would be. Um, some people will say, oh, we may, we may get the, 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 the final, we're going to get the G-Self from, from uh, Rekungistia. Or we may get, um, what was it, um, Bill, uh, not, not the Bill Strike, um, what's the other one? Uh, the Bill, uh, one from one of the Bill Fighter series, I forgot. Oh my god. Um, many, many ideas were thrown in the air. <laughs> one friend of mine told me, oh, we may get the Master Grade Ogo from from MS Eagle. My money was on, on uh, you know, since we've been getting Katoki kits on Gundams, and I think we've only gotten two non Gundam, uh, no, sorry, three non Gundam kits under the Katoki line. It would be nice if we got another one, like let's say um, the Zaku 2 from Origins. That definitely needs a, a Master Grade. It, it, the, the, the Master Grade kits that's out there, even the 2.0s, uh, don't hold a, hold a candle to the design that was released during the um, Origins series. So that would be nice to see that. Another one would be um, something... Oh, I don't know something different from whether from the seed, another maybe from the seed line, but then we already have all the seed kits, including the the, the 2.0s and revives and all that stuff. So that's not going to happen. And don't we are we've already got the curios, so I don't think they're going to do the virtue as a as a uh, Katoki unless they decide to do the uh, a uh, the Exia as a Katoki version. Those are thoughts that we're throwing out in the air. But the wing, nobody was expecting this. Nobody kind of thought it was going to be like this. Granted, it is an old kit. This came out in 2004. So technically, this is a, uh, we, the, the current kit right now is over 16 years old. But I've never heard anything bad about it, or anything unusual that many people did, did not like it. As a matter of fact, it's one of those most. And and if you if you look at all the shows, all the GBW, the GBW, oh my God, Gundam Builders World Cup shows in the past, say decade. This mold has been used over and over and over again, and it's still, and I'm assuming it's still be re, being reproduced. Uh, I have the kit, other than what you see here. This is actually a kit that I purchased at Barnes and Noble in the clearance table for 20 bucks, so I got a good deal on this. So that's a that's something that I'm going to keep keep there for a while. And I do have a built one, which unfortunately I don't know where the hell it is. It would have been great to put it here in, as a presentation, but I was like, I, I had to give up, and so I can't find it. But I did have one of the Universal Unit kits, which is nice as well. Except I lost its hand. I don't know how how I lost its hand. But anyway, why are we getting a Katoki kit? I know many people are happy with it, and I know a lot of people are saying. Why? With the dot, 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 and the question mark at the end. Uh, I don't remember this being a bad build. As a matter of fact, I think it was quite enjoyable. I remember, I actually remember purchasing the original 1100 scale version, and then building this one, and it was great. And this was before YouTube when I started building my own kits. I had it, and... Um, by memory, I'll say this: the the one thing is that I think I remember that I didn't I didn't like was the tips of the wings because um, those connections because it's, it's a rubber it's it's more uh, PVC, um, very flexible, which is nice, but it it, it it you could easily lose them and it doesn't stay on, so that that could be a 
one reasons why they're going to um, work on this kid. Let me read you what was the statement from the site, and I'll post it here right now so you guys can see it. It says here, Master Grade 1 100 scale uh, Wing Gundam Zero EW version cock created under the full supervision of uh, Hajim, uh, Hajima Kotoki, hopefully I said that right, forgive me, uh, will be available. Each of the joints went through an intense examination to pursue the unfolding interactive gimmick for the white wings and the firing poses under using the twin buster rifle. So it's probably going to be doing that scene like that was done at the end of the movie. A new gimmick has been adopted where the twin buster rifle is stored in the wings and the transformation into the Neo Bird mode has been recreated. And of course details will be available and you know coming soon. So it's going to be kind of like a kind of like the high resolution Wing Gundam uh, Zero EW. That's kind of okay because I've always liked that wing, that the high resolution version kit. It's it's gorgeous. Yes, I know it's 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 a parts. It's a not technically a it's a pseudo um, model kit because you're only building the armor and the inner frame is already done. So you know unless you really want to spend a lot of money for this to have it nice and blingy, fine. But now you have the um, the option with this new kit that I'm assuming it's going to have that newer features, maybe better design. Clearly, remember uh, when you do when building um, a Katoki kit, you have more far more detail in the armor plating and the part separations. Um, so that could be a good thing. Um, I've seen a picture of a um, fixed figuration version of the Wing Gundam, and of course, you know, you can compare with the high resolution. So we may be looking at quality work uh, at this level when the Master Rate hits this November. Um, it's going to be retailing at around 5,500 yen, I think close to 6,000, so we're talking about over 60 bucks. And I have a feeling it's going to be bigger. It's going to be a bigger box. Uh, I think we're going to probably going to be see, seeing a much more detail and intricate formation of the wings. Because remember, when you look at this, if anybody has built the real grade version of the Wing Gundam EW, the wing design is well done and executed. Uh, but it almost it almost feels like you're building the master grade just to a certain degree. Um, I know that there are certain parts that look, you know, that has a, a, a weird gap inside, and that's probably because of the molding at the time. So maybe when we get this new one, we're going to get a much more robust wing set. More, um, maybe, maybe uh, the wings will, uh, you know, open and close in certain areas. flying plane right there and didn't realize that but um, so I think that's the one thing we're going to probably be seeing a lot I mean the back wings is one thing that is has two shot two slots that opens and closes so we may be seeing a much more uh, wider type of uh, expansion as we go with this one so the this back wing may end up opening up uh, all the way this whole section here and here this will probably go up and around this will open up more kind of like in the in the real grade version um, and I believe the master grade version does the same thing and I'm sorry I don't have it so I'm just going based on guesses here the tips are the ones and the one thing that I think they're gonna have to work with and that's gonna have to be locked into place where it doesn't fall off or anything like that um, I can't imagine what they're gonna do around here with the waist with this clearly it's going to be a redesign a remolding a re re everything you can probably you can't call it 2.0 unfortunately maybe it's going to be maybe a 1.5 version of this kit but safe to say this is what bandai has announced looks like uh, this guy did a lot of work on it and for those of us who built version cockets we're gonna see quality there that uh, 
we're going to enjoy, especially the fact that it's going to have water slide decals, not stickers. So, yeah. So, take it what it is. We are getting it. It is not what we were hoping for. But the year's not over yet, or the month. Because I, usually at this time, because, you know, we we're supposed to be getting more announcements um, for the next three or four months um, from Bandai. But of course, we didn't. We, since we didn't have the Shinjuku show, uh, nothing was uh, being teased. You know, we don't know what real grade is coming out. Although, I mean, right now the the, the real grade um, uh, Impulse Gundam just came out, so we don't know what's going to be after that. We don't know what's going to be the next RE kit. We don't know. We know that there's going to be some high grade kits. The um, now that oh, there's this new entry level kits that they've been talking about. But that's a that's a discussion for a later date. Um, Re-Rise series season two has been postponed because of this of the pandemic, so we're not. Other than a P Bandai announcement that just came out, that hasn't been any more news. Um, I, I think the the orange one. There was an orange mobile suit that's coming out soon. But for April, for sorry, for for June, July, and August, we don't see no announcements or anything coming out from Bandai based on Gundam, other than this. So with this month getting to Curios, I think uh, we'll just have to wait and see what Bandai will say. We're at the mercy at at their announcements. So this is of course a video that you can watch, and, and obviously things are going to be subject to change. I'll definitely get it. And if I do get it, I'll maybe do a dual, build, a dual build with this guy. Who knows? I'd like to thank you guys all for watching. And what can I say, but stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. You guys all have a great day.